Good afternoon, friends. Happy August. We are in a new month. I am Dr. Marlena here with career and college counselors um, with our colleagues from College Cash Consulting, bringing back our regularly scheduled lunch and learn. So it is indeed 12 o'clock. And we are here to start a great chat today about the new season that's ahead of us. I'm gonna go ahead and add my colleague, Maria. Give me one second to add her on. And we're gonna have a great chat today about how next season as we're entering a new month, um, a very exciting month for a lot, a lot of, of us. us. For a lot of, For us, who a lot of us who are on the college, on the search, college search process. process. Maria, Maria, can you put can your, you your earbuds? Please. 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 Oh, gosh. Okay, you're going to have to mute me for a bit, and uh, I will get my earbuds. Um, um, let's see. You know what? I just happen to have them right here. Um, let me see if I can get them in immediately. Uh, live broadcasting, gotta love it. Hold on. <laughs> okay, excuse me. I don't. Okay, what I did was I X'd her out for a minute. We'll have her rejoin us. Maria, why don't you go ahead and text us or comment in the comment section when you're ready with your earbuds. So I apologize, friends, um, for that little bit of a technical difficulty, but we'll add her shortly. So it's been a great summer. I know we've been away a little bit, um, and hopefully you guys have had a great productive um, summer full of moments of reflection but also some good moments as you're planning your school year, your academic year, your professional and personal development plans for coming up for this last quarter of the year. So again, hopefully you found that balance between rest and planning. So we are so excited to be back here on our Lunch and Learn programs um, to be able to connect with you. Um, we are just finishing up our last group of students who we are ushering into their first semester as college um, freshmen or first year students. And we are now looking to help the next group, right? Those rising seniors now who are just about getting ready to start their senior year. They're booking their football camps, their band camps. Um, they're really starting to think about the reality of going away um, come next year. So this is a really exciting time. And it looks like Maria might be ready. So let me go ahead and connect her back back in so we can go ahead and continue our conversation for today, which is celebrating the start of a new month. So it looks like she's getting added in right now, so we should have some better audio at this point, um, so we can go ahead and start our chat. So um, like I said, we had a really busy summer here at College Cash Consulting and Career and College Counselors. Hi, I, we're going to have to try to do the best we can, I'm sorry. Um, I just can't get earphones that actually work with this. Is that going to be a problem? Um, there's some, um, there's bad, some feedback. bad feedback. All right, hold on. Let me try one more thing. All right, and, uh, you know, we, we did pre-test this before, so I don't want anyone to think we didn't do this. So... Um, why don't you continue talking about the importance and then I will get back to you then, okay? Okay, would you like me to ask you out? Yeah, you might as well. <laughs> All right, Maria, so go ahead and let us know again. Drop me a comment or a thumbs up when you're ready to join us. So yesterday, um, while I was walking and thinking about the new month ahead, um, it came to me that this is a really important time um, for college applications. Um, so again, we're August 1st, new month, new season. We are about 151 days left in 2019, which for a lot of us may sound like that's a ton of time, but it's gonna go so very quickly. I also then had to Google what was the date 151 days ago. 
it was March 3rd. I think we, when we hear March 3rd, we can remember, right, what we were doing in March. It's not that far um, or long ago. So hopefully that gives you some perspective as to how quickly this year is going to wrap up. So 151 days from now, our college, um, I'm sorry, our high school seniors who are applying to colleges, some of them will go ahead and have a decision letter in their hand already in 151 days. Because as we talked about last year, right, a lot of college admissions offices do a lot of decision making right before the holidays. So think about that. Your son or daughter who is um, going to be a senior in high school this year, in 151 days, they're going to have a decision letter in their hand and they're going to be making that really big decision as to which college to accept. Um, so it's it's exciting, um, it's real, but I want to um, empower everyone with that thought. It shouldn't be a frightening thought, it should be an empowering thought that this is real, it's time to plan, it's time to move forward. So welcome back, Maria, it sounds like we are good with no feedback. Oh, excellent, I love this technology, it keeps on changing, just when I think I have it down, it goes kapooey on me. So those of you that do presentations do understand that lovely logic. Yeah. So what did I miss? So I was just giving the um, heads up about 151 days left in the year. And we know this is a busy time for our seniors who are starting their senior year in high school as they start to go. I said, talk about football camp, talk about band camp. The, the to-do list is getting pretty long, as we know, for this group of students. So I was saying how a lot of our students will have a decision letter in their hand in 150 right. days or less. So that should be it a, seems really like real. a lot, but it doesn't, right? Yeah. It, it isn't that far away. So um, we were just talking about that, how this is a new season, right? This is a, the new season yeah. for college search and college application timeline. Um, mm -hmm. We are seeing some of our larger schools. They are opening their fall 2020 yeah. application today. So right. your son, your daughter, your loved one can actually start to apply today to some of these schools. So Absolutely. I was talking to Maria yesterday and we really thought this was a good opportunity to come on and really kind of do this as a wake up call too, to be like, hey, it's beginning. If you're ready or not, it's starting today. Right. So right. why not plan ahead and why not get a little bit more um, organized? So again, many of them are opening today, but just know that they're going to continue to open in the next four right. to six weeks. This is kind of the time to go ahead right. and, and apply. So we thought it would be a great opportunity to come on for our lunch and learn and talk about this opportunity to plan ahead. Right. And planning is everything, Marlena, as you know, uh, the summer goes by so quickly. And so now we're, we are in August 1st. Some of our other schools are actually going to back to school in two weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, the guidance office is starting to gear up with, uh, with their course changes and schedules. So it really is a best time to go into the guidance office and actually ask for your transcripts to be sent to some of the schools that you're interested in. It doesn't cost anything. Uh, you wanna get there before everyone goes into the guidance office to do the changes uh, of their schedule. And uh, so you wanna be ahead of that. You also wanna start thinking about who you're going to ask for for letters of recommendations. Very, very important. You want to make sure that you have that all in place before, again, it's almost like the Christmas rush. If you wait too long, mm -hmm. teachers are overwhelmed with writing these letters of recommendations. So you want to ask them first. You want to take a look at which one actually is the best one that uh, has captured who you are. You also want to make sure that you have a resume. When you ask anyone for a letter of recommendation, you really need to make sure that they have, that they have all the information that they need on you. You are guiding them as to what's important for their uh, school and what you want them to highlight so you appear in the best light. So transcripts are very important. Letters of recommendation, you can never start getting uh, amassing college boards, the ACT and the SAT over, just to make sure that you have the highest uh, grade possible. Many colleges now do what they call a super score. They, mm -hmm. take, they take the highest score from many different tests, can actually do, and then concentrate on math the other. So I think there's one in August that is happening like right around the corner. 
and then in September. A great uh, remediation uh, tool that you can use is Khan Academy. It is free, and you can really start buckling down and starting to remember all the things that you forgot since May. So you want to refresh. They have a diagnostic test that is right on, it, and uh, they actually then put together a program. It's free. It's, a, it's attached to the SAT, so you're really uh, going right on target. We also suggest, and I know you do this too, Marlena, is that we have the students take both the SAT and the ACT. Some students do better in the ACT. Some students do better in the SAT. So you want to make sure that when you send your scores to the college that you're right on, you're right on task and that you are sending the best of who you are. Scholarships. Scholarships, you should be down in the guidance office pulling those scholarship uh, papers, starting to amass them, starting to write them. You might think, oh, it's only $50. You know, it's not worth my time. Absolutely not. You can pay for a textbook or maybe even half a textbook. If you're in the sciences, textbooks are like out of sight. So even the little bit of a scholarships uh, that you might want to um, get and garner, and you know that, Marlena, when you were a student as well, you were down that, that guidance office pulling those scholarships, and, uh, you know, they do pay off. Mm -hmm. And it also then gets you in front of the guidance counselor so they get to know your face. They get to know, you know, this child really is, you know, Adam from Kokomo really knows how to, he's really interested in getting those scholarships, uh, and that's important. Of course, most scholarship money is actually college. The colleges are your biggest, your biggest, um, your biggest scholarship uh, person. And you need to also then become friendly with you have to start doing a PR job on the guidance, the financial aid office in this particular colleges. You want to start visiting your um, college fairs. They're starting up in Pennsylvania. They're starting up in August. Great time to to meet with uh, some of the the uh, college people who are ready to swoop down, get your information, and get you signed up. They're all ready for that. What is one of the things that you look for when you were out doing that college uh, fair, uh, you know, circle? What were some of the things that you looked for, Marlena? Well, I think um, the number one question you're always going to get asked, um, whether you're visiting campus or you're meeting um, a college admissions counselor at the table at a fair, is they're always going to ask you why this institution? Why are you interested um, what do you know about us? So I think, you know, it's always good to kind of cast your net very wide in the beginning. But when you're starting to make those more one on one um, direct contacts, it's also really good to kind of understand what the institution, um, what they're known for, where they are, what are their strengths, because that's what people are going to want to know why you're interested. So this is why we wanted to get on today in August, is to remind everyone that you have time right now to do your homework. So take this time, take these two weeks before all the camps begin, before classes begin, before you go back to school shopping. Sit down and do your homework. Start to research those schools. Start to research when their applications open and really start to map out your plan. Um, again, this is not to make anybody nervous or scared or overwhelmed. No, no. It's to really help people start to own their process. And, and then so you have ownership of it. You understand where your timeline is. So that way you can right. be more strategic, like you said, with your test taking. Because remember, you can apply and you can send in your older test scores. But knowing that, again, most schools won't start to actually review the applications for probably another four to six weeks. So you have time to go right. ahead and do that first SAT or AC2 score and have them submitted. So that's really why we wanted to come on today is to kind of help you plop and plan all of these application open days and when you're going to start to apply. Um, so right. We want to make sure, if I could add one more thing, Marlena, we really want to make sure that you are, uh, the students are taking advantage of the early decision. Mm -hmm. Very, very important. The earlier you get your applications in, the uh, better off your chances are of being actually accepted and also getting the most money. Because the most they want, as you know, Marlene, colleges want to make sure that they have their next freshman class set up, bodies in the seat, 
and money there for their students. As you wait longer and longer, it used to be you could really put your application in after January and you would do very well. What they're finding out now is that the sooner you get it in, the better chance you have of getting into your college. But it actually becomes more difficult to go through the regular admissions process, which starts in February, or January, February and there's less money. So, you know, that's very important. And the first step, and I hate to be always harping on this, you need to know your career. You have to be able to say, this is the career I want. This is the major I'm going to choose to meet the needs of the career. And then you do your college. What college suits has the best program for your major, for your career? Please do not just you know, choose a college because it's a party college or it's by the ocean or something. You know, my parents went there. It might not be a good fit for you. So make sure that you actually do some of your homework, get your career set, then your major, then your college. So that's exactly what we do at College Cash Consulting and we're career and college counselors. And I know Marlena does this too. We really help walk you through where your passion is, what's a good fit, and making sure that you have that first step really, really solid. And I think that's important for our um, audience to remember today. And that's what we do, right? We help you on that search process. We help you work your own funnel as to what your interests are and start to narrow that down by, like we said, career and then the colleges that are the best fit for you. So right, um, right. we have so much more to say. Um, we have so many more things to offer everyone. So I just want to encourage everybody at this moment as we kind of wrap up knowing um, being mindful people's lunch hours. Um, that this is an opportunity to connect with us. Um, we're going to continue with some of our lunch and learns on a more regular basis coming up. So we know this is a stressful time. So we wanted to be here for our community. So I encourage you to join us. We will always try to do um, a, a preview or letting you know what the topic is for each of our lunch and learns. But again, I encourage you to connect with us, message us, comment below if you have any questions or if you want to learn more about how we can help you or your student through this season or to prepare for this upcoming season of right. 151 days left in the year, we are here to help you. So I encourage you to follow us on all our social media here on Facebook, um, LinkedIn, uh, we have a Twitter, and now we have an Instagram as well. So please um, continue the conversation with us. We are all here to help you um, and, and make this process a little bit, I think, smoother and a little bit more mm -hmm. efficient. So when it is time to make that final decision, you have all of your information that you need so you can make the best decision for you. So... Um, Again, we are here for your, to coach you in this next season. So I appreciate right. you guys listening and joining us live. Um, again, this will be um, posted on our page as a replay. So continue to comment below if you have any questions. Um, you can always reach out to us. And um, if you're interested in learning more about how we can help you on this journey. So I'll, do you have any closing thoughts, Maria, before we wrap this up? <sighs> No, um, it's never too early to plan. We like to actually work with students from sophomore, from the 9th, 10th, 11th, and then the beginning of 12th. Um, we want to make it as smooth, as you said, Marlena, and as painless as possible. We want to make sure that you choose the right career, the right major, the right college, and get graduate in four years instead of the six years. So that's our goal, is to get you out in four years. So I'm done. I apologize for the little technology mis mishap, but uh, I think we have it down straight and we will be good for the next time. Great. So thank you again for joining us. Just as a reminder, we are available um, via all this great technology. And of course, we are available face to face. We are in the greater Lehigh Valley as well as the um, greater Philadelphia region as, as well. So if you're looking right. for some face to face connection, we can certainly serve you uh, via web-based or face-to-face. -face. So thank you again, everyone, for joining us. And thank you. Um, as a follow-up, there will be a blog coming out similar to this topic later this week. So I encourage you to check out our blog. Um, enjoy the rest Great. of your lunch and the rest of your week, and we will see you soon. Bye. Thanks. <laughs>